What's up, everybody? Welcome, as always, to Rex Engine. Hope everyone's having an amazing day. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up blocks so you can not only push them like in the last video, but pull them backwards as well. So pulling blocks is a new feature as of Rex Engine 1.53, which I believe went live on the Asset Store this morning. So you can download that anytime. And let me give you a quick preview of what we're dealing with here. So like before, you can still push blocks forward, but the new feature now is that you can grab onto a block and pull it backwards as well. So the setup is going to be almost exactly the same as in the last video, if you remember how that worked. So we've got a pushable block here, which you can create from the Rex palette. There's an option under the gimmick heading for pushable block. So if I click that, it'll add pushable blocks into my scene. And as always, you can skin these any way you want and make them look like anything. So if I click on the pushable block itself, all of its settings are pretty self-explanatory. That should come pre-made out of the box for you to push it. The new settings here are going to be on the player themselves or whatever character is pushing and pulling the block. So let me go into scene view and I'm going to click on the main character. I'll expand his game object and go into his controller. And we can see near the bottom here, he's got this pushing state. So as always, you can add new states to your character by clicking on the controller, going to Tools, Rex Engine, Add Ability, and you can get both pushing and pulling from adding the pushing ability. They're both on the same component. So you'll see there's um, a couple new categories here. There's the pulling animation, where you can slot the animation that plays, and that's a looping animation that'll play while you pull something backwards. There is the pull button. So the pull button requires a little more explanation. This is basically, when you push something, all you have to do is walk into it, and that forward momentum lets you push it forward. For pulling, you have to press a button first to grab the object before you can pull it backwards. So the pull button is what button you press. And so out of the box, this is set to be the up button. And you can also set it to be either the misc, miscellaneous one or miscellaneous two buttons. And those are, of course, however you define those buttons in Unity's input settings. Um, so edit, project settings, input. And you should have a section here for the misc one and misc two buttons. So like with anything else in Unity, you can set those buttons to be anything you want. Um, so out of the box, it'll let you select one of those three inputs. And if you really need more, more fine control over that, you can also go into the pushing state.cs script and it should be pretty straightforward in there. Um, if anyone has any questions on that, I'm happy to show you guys exactly where it is in the comments, but I assume that'll be a pretty much like edge case thing. And the last option down here is actions allowed. So by default, this is pushing and pulling. So it'll let you walk into a box to push it or grab onto something to pull it backward. But you can also set that to pushing only or pulling only if you only want one of those actions. And I think that's about it. This is pretty self-explanatory, I think, pretty straightforward. Let me show you guys one more time. So what's happening here is I walk up next to the box and because this is set to use the up button for grabbing it, I press the up button and we can see he grabs the box and latches onto it. And now if I press back, then I'll pull that backwards for as long as the terrain will let me. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.